Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Ventures with Kramer. So in this video today, what I'm going to be showing you is my attempt to put in some snow on the Starlink satellite. Let's go ahead and check it out. Nice little montage at the beginning here for the road trip. So here we are starting out towards Union Gap, Washington, working our way real quickly over towards past Yakima, past Ned Cheese, at Clemens Mountain there on the right side back a little bit, following up Highway 12 now, headed up towards the top towards White Pass. Nice area, definitely to be able to help set and get checked out. What I was looking for was the snow, and that should be showing up here. Yeah, finally found it. <laughs> So, I'm up in the hills now, and I found snow. Since apparently it does not want to snow where I live right now, I'm going to go grab some snow, bring that back, show you what I'm going to do with it on the Starlink satellite. Okay, here we go. I got a five gallon bucket filled full of snow and a Starlink satellite dish set in front of me. Just ran a speed test and I was at a 43 millisecond ping, 135 megabits per second down with an 11 megabits per second up. Let's try and see what happens when I do just a, a light dusting of snow. Is it warm enough to start melting? Pretty quick, or what do we got? Well, let's try and see what happens with a little bit of snow on here. What I can't tell, not sure if it shows up in the video, but it almost seems like I don't know if this is just glue, but a ring here. And I'm seeing some other, it almost seems like concentric rings going around. I wonder if some of the heating goes in that way. It does start to melt pretty quick on top there though, seeing these turn already into droplets. So that's pretty fast. Just trying to add some bigger chunks. It falls off pretty quick too. I know this is not exactly perfect. Let's try and get some more snow. <laughs> Ooh, I can pile it up pretty good up here towards the top. Give me a second here, I'm gonna try and pile a whole bunch of Yeah, I just can't get it to pile up on here. So I know it'll be different whenever it's just regular snow happening, super light, but let's try and get hmm. one of those kind of teardown videos. I know it's, it should be fairly sturdy underneath. Let's take a decent sized chunk of snow, see what happens. That, it's almost like that material on there is is it fair to say like how it's built up and the texture on it helps to prevent some of this from actually sticking onto here oh this is interesting i don't think it'd be hydrophobic necessarily but who knows hopefully somebody has a little bit better idea what this material is made let's of. try a few more Big chunks of snow, throw it on there, see what happens. Okay. That's fun. I like that. Let's add what I can. Man. Well, it's sticking in one spot. Let's see how that much snow affects the speed. So, this is my previous speed that I had. Let's see what we get again here. Still 35 millisecond, 
Ooh, download did drop some. Oh, hands are cold. Not too bad though. See how bad uploads are affected. Did it just move some? Big old chunk of the snow just came off. I just, it, that a little bit of an angle there really helps out a lot. Seventy-four and a twelve point four. That's not too bad. I have a little bit of snow left over, so I mean what Bailey's eating. Oh, you wanna go out to the ball? You want the snowball? You want it? You want it? You want this one? Right there. Go get it. Oh, I was always here. Go after it. I want this one. Ready, ready, ready. Go get it. It's behind you. Okay, ready? Sit. Um, good girl. You want some, Joey? Ready? <laughs> want some more? What about you, baby? Ready? <laughs> A little bit left. <laughs> Was that fun, Zoe? You like that, Bailey? Good girl.